Okay, hello guys, uh, welcome to Halvin 21 Media, and of course I'm your host Ian. Uh, thank you very much for your support, we are very much delighted uh, for what we are actually doing. Uh, so, I know you, some of you might might have been surprised as to who is this person, yeah. Uh, maybe a few individuals can know him, or maybe you can identify him, he is Kasaya Bramwell. Uh, he's a senior education counselor in charge of a scholarship in Windle International, Kenya. I train in education and project management. Uh, basically, today we are going to talk actually about DAFI scholarship. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know DAFI, or for anyone who knows DAFI and maybe doesn't know it uh, actually what it does, uh, you are highly welcome. Can join us uh, if you have any question you can drop it at the comment uh, part and we will answer you thank you very much hi sir yes yeah yes, yes. Uh, welcome this is alvin 21 media and actually uh, we want to know about that what is daffy uh, yeah actually okay and more about it okay okay so um First, it's good to meet you <laughs> on the beach. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so Daffy is um, actually an acronym. In although in German, so I, I don't know exactly exactly what it is in German. But uh, it's it, it translated into English. It is the Albert Einstein okay. uh, Refugee Education Initiative. That is what it means. Okay. So, as a scholarship program, it was founded 30 years ago, uh, and it is funded by the German government, the Federal Republic of Germany, yes, sure. but uh, administered by the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, the whole world. Eh? Okay. But now in Kenya, it is uh, implemented by the Windle International Kenya. Uh, we, Windle has been working with UNHCR on this program since 2005 okay. and uh, we continue counting. This year we have a count of 1,084 Duffy scholars. Duffy scholars, okay. Yes. Okay, that's very wonderful. Yes. Uh, concerning the opportunities, mm -hmm. yeah. So, actually, uh, how, 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 how frequently do you take a student to school? Okay. Yeah. Do you take a student yearly, or maybe after some time? So? Okay. okay. Actually, the students take themselves to school. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, I get what you mean. We usually have annual intake. Okay. But this intake is dependent on the funding that is available. Oh, okay. So that therefore means whenever we have allocated funds for new students, that is when we take up. But from history, it will look like every other year we have new students coming on board. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah sure. Okay. Uh, uh, in, in, in the country, yeah. we are in East Africa. Yes. Yeah. Is there any other country like uh, you're doing it in Kenya, maybe? Is Davi also in other countries like Uganda, South Sudan, Tanzania? Yes. The latest and the newest entrant is uh, Davi Somalia. Okay. Which is uh, implemented by Windle International Somalia. Okay. We have Uganda, Davi Uganda, which again is implemented by Windle International. Uh, we have Davi South Sudan. And then Davi. Uh, Sudan, Sudan, I think also is implemented by Window International. Okay. But that is Window Trust. Okay. Uh, I don't remember very well the one in uh, South Sudan, but it should be LWF. I don't remember too well. 
Duff is also in Tanzania. I'm aware about Tanzania. Okay. I think also Rwanda and Burundi. Yeah. I think generally the whole of East Africa there is the presence of Duffy. Oh, okay. But I, I'm not authorized to speak. <laughs> I think now UNHCR is the one which knows too better. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that's really wonderful. Okay, concerning the criteria. Yes. The criteria that Daffy used to recruit the student. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. So what is that criteria? Okay. Um, mainly, different criteria is applied in different uh, countries. Countries, yeah. So it just depends on the context of operation. In Kenya, what we do is that whenever we announce, or rather whenever we get the funding and therefore announce for the scholarships, the criteria is put on the call for applications. Okay. What is usually most common is one, uh, one must be a registered refugee in Kenya. Okay. And registered meaning they have the right identification documents that say so and so has been granted asylum as a refugee in Kenya. That's number one. Okay. Number two, uh, academic qualifications. You see, because Duffy is not a university, so we cannot take in our students. We actually we we depend on other institutions, higher learning institutions, yeah. to take in these students. So the student should be admissible for the course they want to apply for, whether it is a, a certificate, diploma, or degree. or degree level. There was a time we also had masters, but I think it didn't go far. Okay. So they should be admitted to academic qualifications and other qualifications like age. We look at generally the age of between oh. 20, 28 and 30. Okay. Uh, and there could be a few other considerations, what I would call non-mandatory, secondary, but very important. For example, uh, we look at issues to do with uh, persons with special needs, uh, affirmative uh, action that is gender-based, and you know. Yeah, sure. Okay, that's really wonderful. And do you also, does it also do you also do you also take students from primary also also only those one from uh, those one who are shipping to university? Oh, okay, okay. Um, you know, for one to go to university, they should have passed through primary. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. So uh, we take all the ones who've gone through primary school. Yeah. But to high but, school, do you but, have any uh, what? With student to high school? So we but don't take only, them. You only pick from high school. High school, university. exactly. Okay. Because you see, it is Daffy tertiary education. Okay. So we only focus on tertiary, on the understanding that there are other partners of UNHCR that focus on primary oh, okay. or basic. Okay. There are yeah, those sure. who focus on secondary. Okay. So the focus of Daffy is just to pick the ones who completed high school. offers and yeah how you can get it so uh, pick up for those who are in high school or maybe in primary you need to keep your focus clear and keep going. thank you very much and do not forget to subscribe okay before we end i think uh, someone might also want to maybe talk to you in one way or another so if there's any way that they can reach you you can also share with us maybe you can if you just go to facebook window international kenya yeah. okay uh, those are that's our facebook and the equivalent on twitter 